Hi everyone, this is Miss Bowen from Pep Practice. In today's class, we will look at quantitative reasoning. This is part one of a two-part series video. We're going to be looking at the topics and examples. Today is another ability test preparation. I hope you have a good time in today's class. In today's class, as previously stated, we will look at quantitative reason, the topics and the examples. Let's look at the next topic that will come on the exam and that's data analysis. In these questions, you are required to sort data based on characteristics. Read, interpret, and make inferences from data presented in tables and or graphs. Mr. Smith wants to determine the best brand paper towels he should use in his kitchen to soak up water by carrying out an investigation. The number of pieces of paper towel used to soak up 150 milliliters of water in each case is given in the table. The paper towels are brand A with eight pieces of paper used, brand B with four pieces of paper used, brand C with six pieces of papers used, and brand D with five pieces of paper used. Which is the brand, which is the best brand paper towel for Mr. Smith to use? Is it brand A, brand B, brand C, or brand D? Before we look at the answer, let's see how we can approach this question. We're going to analyze the results from the table and determine which brand would be best based on whether it use more or less pieces of paper. Therefore, the answer is brand B because it uses the least amount of pieces. Let's look at the next topic that will come on the examination. We're still on the quantitative reasoning type questions. And next up is pattern. In these type of questions, you are required to identify, generate, and describe patterns in a given sequence or to complete or extend a given sequence. Let's look at the example. Imagine some colored blocks are laid out in a row. Three blue, sorry, three red, two blue, three red, two blue, and so on. How many blocks will be in the ninth position? Is it three red blocks, two blue blocks, 10 blue blocks, or 15 red blocks? Let's see how we can approach this question. We can draw a diagram. In the picture diagram that we drew of the blocks in the specified order of the pattern, we saw that the blocks in the ninth position are three red blocks. Finally, we look at the last type of question from the quantitative reasoning category that we'll be featuring in this video. And that's problem solving. This requires you to make sense of problems, reason abstractly and quantitatively, and use mathematical models to interpret and solve problems. Let's look at the example. Use the diagram and the information on the next slide to determine the problem solving question that follows, or to answer the problem solving question that follows. The diagram on the previous slide shows the design of a handrail for a length of walkway for a school located 400 meters from the beach. The horizontal bars each measures two meters. The vertical bars 
Each measures 90 centimeters. The handrail is designed with five decorative stars. A student wants to use the same design to cover six meters. How many decorative stars would he need for the handrail? Is it five, 10, 30, or 15? Let's see how we can approach this question. We can use the information given in the question and make calculations. Or we can also draw diagrams as a part of a plan. In the diagram there, we can see three handrails, the three, the three horizontal bars that measures two centimeters, sorry, two meters each will add up to six meters. And we can count the decorative stars one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The answer would be 15. If two meters of horizontal bar has five decorative stars, since two times three equals six meters, six meters of horizontal bars will have five times three, which is 15 decorative stars. This is where we end for today. Part two, part two of this video will be uploaded shortly and will contain the other quantitative reasoning topics that will come on the ability test examination. Again, thanks for always tuning in and watching our videos until the end. Please remember to share the videos to all the students you know during the PEP examination and also to like the videos and subscribe to our channel for the latest PEP related materials. Until next time, take care.